Hey everybody, we're down here with another episode of Winning the Weekly. This week is Wild Champions, and this is May 12th, 2023, so this is going to pertain to this week. And this week we have a Heiner, Otis, Kirkley, Nezlek team, and the modifiers are going to be based around Fury, because this contained Fury, where Fury increases damage by 2% instead of the normal 3%, and no, but no longer applies to Bleed at the end of the turn. Monster max HP is plus 25%, double boons is good, best monsters when you have a slow team is pretty bad, wealthy heroes is good, poverty is bad. My general strategy going into this is Heiner is going to take a corrupted stockade and keep the team up, while Otis and Grookley are going to be DPS and Nezglect is going to buff Otis. And for Nezglect to buff Otis we want to give Nezglect speed, but Otis no speed. And the interesting thing about this week is there's going to be beer mugs out the wazoo, so Grookley is going to probably have a big chance to get a corrupted uh, beer mug for him to use. And then Otis himself will get a Justicar's ring at the end of the first boss, which you will want to pick up. So keep that in mind when drafting perks. Let me go ahead and get the uh, capstone cards all set up for you and what the draft looks like. So with Heiner, you want to take the Guardian perk or Guardian Pack without re-rolling for the Corrupted Stockade, the Commander Pack without re-rolling for the Bluff, Piercing Hell, and Battle Shout, and then the Warlord Pack after a re-roll for the Barbed Wire, Thousand Needles, and Invigorating Blow. Next up is going to be Otis. Otis, uh, you can have a few different choices here, but I usually choose Justicar as a definitely for the Divine Insight, and then Crusader as the other guaranteed pack, and then it's your choice between Devotee and Friar or the uh, buffs or fanaticism so you can uh, play your bigger cards more often and get better combos out of it. Grookley, I have him going under Gladiator for the Furious Slash since he's going to be picking up a lot of fury from the beer mugs that I pick up for him. Marauder for the skills and Destroyer for that uh, yellow Wrecking Ball because uh, Wrecking Ball is pretty nice for clearing out AoE stuff. You can also go a bleed build this week on him, so I picked up Axeman and that random if you want to go for a bleed build that synergizes with uh, Nizlek's sight and that exploit openings. And then finally we have Nezlek. I think there's really just three choices for him. And that's the first random pack for the Mass Dispel, Delay Response, and Divine Power. And that Divine Power is going to be huge. And then we have Seer for the Expected Prophecy, Fortune Telling, and Omen Apparel. And I'm going to usually pick the right side with Nezlect so he can get free vision on everything and get his mana back for using seals like Fortune Telling and Expected Prophecy. And then I pick up Mentalist for the Pandemonium and Clairveyance. So let's switch back to the game and uh, show you how I draft all the perks. So we're picking up this first Guardian. Picking up the first commander, re-rolling into Warlord, and then we're picking up this Corrupted Stockade. Now with Heiner, I am going to do Slow, Feed on Himself, Vitality, and Thorns. Otis, we want the second Justicar pack, but this first Crusader pack is great. We'll do that, re-roll, get the Justicar pack, and get the stability for the Fanaticism. Also, this is very tempting if you want to use Otis to buff uh, Grookly instead. And then with Otis, we don't want speed, so I'm going to go HP, Sanctify, Burn because I know there is a guaranteed Justicar's Ring at the first boss, and a Holy Damage. Next up is Grookly, where we're going to want to check my notes here. Yeah, we want that second Gladiator pack. So we're gonna reroll, get that second gladiator, get the marauder for the piercing hell and intimidate, and then we're gonna get destroyer for this wrecking ball. And then we're gonna pick this gladiator. We're gonna want fury, powerful, speed, and then I usually go slow here. Just for that piercing hell to be able to move before your enemies. Because if you have Grookly slow them, Heiner can get his stockade up and do a lot more damage through your stockade. And then Nezglect. He is going to be a random pick, 
and then reroll into Mentalist and Seer. And then we're going to pick this Pandemonium. And we're going to pick Speed, Sight, Insanity. Then usually it doesn't matter which for the final one, so I'm just going to pick HP. Go ahead and hit Ready. The items, you definitely want Boots of Swiftness on Heiner at all times. I usually keep this until the end game. Old Horseshoe on Nesbalek if you want to go for score. But you can also do Mind Book, because there is a second Mind Book coming up that you can get. So we'll just go with the Horseshoe here, Harp here, and then uh, nothing on Group Lee. We'll just take the money. In the path I usually go, I think it's this one here, is a Meditate for Nesbalek, which is really good. And you just go like that. I believe this note down here can also get you a Divine Power Corrupted for Nesglect, so both of these are really good choices to start off with. But that'll be it for today. Thank you for watching, and brush your teeth, take care of yourselves, have all that good jazz. And see you next week for the next episode of Winning the Weekly. Bye!